noise. Like that. Um. Terrible, that would. Uh, no. Oh, bless. Uh, sorry, we get all sidetracked here. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about three ladies who were all battling out to, uh, for weight loss uh, between the men and the to nearly 60 stone. Good said, stop putting that in. I embarrassed them. Uh, but they've been hit the gym in an attempt to become Derby's biggest loser. Kelly Thomas from Mackworth and Tracy Wilson from Spondon uh, join us on the show. Hi, ladies. Hello. How's things all right? Yeah, good, thanks. Where's, where's, what's the, what's the other one called? Claire. I've never met her, have I? No, she's <coughs> Have I upset her, have I? <coughs> oh, bless you. Bless you. Uh, there's oh, bless you. Little sneeze in the back there. Uh, who's that, by the way? Who's, who's his age yours? Yeah, that's Oliver. 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 <laughs> lovely, lovely. A bit, bit, a bit of a sneeze there, but he's all right. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, who wants to start? Uh, Tracy? Oh, go on, Kelly. <laughs> she just, you just been volunteered. <laughs> Who wants to go on? How's it going? Uh, yeah, it's going fine, thanks. Yeah. We, we, haven't, we, haven't, we haven't seen the other one, although there are reports that she has seen him at McDonald's as well. <laughs> and how true that is. She'll what be ringing you off. She will be. She will be. <laughs> what, what, how's it been? How's it gone? What, what have you been doing? Uh, just keeping up with the exercise, sort of watching what food we're eating, and yeah, it's going all right. Have you had a, have you had a weigh in? We have. Can you say what, what you've done? So far in the three weeks, eight pounds. That's not bad, is it? It's Are you pleased with that? Yes, I am. Because you don't want to, you don't want to go. Raging mad to start no, with no, you, and then you can't maintain. No, no, it's not going to want to keep it off. So yeah, yeah, please do that. Yeah. And have you have you changed significantly what you're what you're eating first of all? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah, as I said before, you know, watching more what we're eating and portion sizes now. But uh, yeah. So are you eating the same kind of things but less of? Not that I was eating before yeah, we started this. No. So you were you're eating totally naughty changed. naughty stuff as well. Yeah. You? What have you cut out? What kinds of things have you? Um. Well, as you know, I cut cheese out quite a long time ago. Yeah. Um. But Mainly just cut out bread, uh, wheat, things like that. And you're finding it easy? Yeah. You seem, yeah. you seem quite relaxed about it. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it is really, really easy. I, that is the one thing that you know it's going to work now because it is surprisingly easy. And it isn't just losing the weight either, you know, getting in your trousers that didn't get you three weeks ago. Mm. Brilliant. I still need to grab me by the lapels and give us some cheese. There's more in there. No, thanks. No, I did say that if there's any cheese, then that's it. You, you, you don't want any cheese <laughs> no, no, at all. No, 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 no. Tracy, what about you? Kelly. Kelly, what about you? Sorry. Yeah, it's good. I think the the exercise this time is really helping. Yeah, we've changed what food we're eating, like Tracy said. But before, um, before I started, obviously I just had Oliver, um, so I hadn't done any exercise while I was pregnant at all. So now to be doing more exercise, um, and I think as we go along week three, I'm yes. trying to increase it again. And I think that was helping as well. Because that, that's the other thing is that you, you have to do exercise that you're going to stick at. That you're yeah. not gonna, you're not going to wear yourself and go, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. You don't want to frighten yourself out of it, do you? Yeah, did you, yeah. Did you do exercise before you were pregnant? I mean, were you were that kind of person that did that or not? Mm. I did many years ago. If I have an incentive. You're not talking about PE at school, school, are you? Because we all <laughs> yeah. had to. We yeah, all had to it. do that. That was completely awesome. <laughs> when I was five, yeah. uh, we did some uh, beanbag stuff. Yeah. Uh, but was that was that last time? Yeah, was that last time you did? Like was it that. really sports day? Was the last <laughs> yeah. exercise that you had? So, so what kind of stuff have you done? Because I. You know, we're talking about the gym and some of the machines in the gym, and I, and I is it the stepper or something like that? What's that one where you, your feet are going, yeah, your arms are going? That's, that's yeah. it. As Lee Evans said, you look like your dad dancing at a wedding <laughs> and when you're doing that. Kind of, what's, what's all, what's all, what, what have you been doing uh, machine wise? Have you been on that at all? I have been on some of the machines at the gym, um, but it's more, I tend to sort of doing classes. Because if you're in a class and you're tired, you can't just stop. Whereas if you're on a machine and you've kind of had enough and it's hard, Look around. Is you can press. Looking? Is anyone looking and you can press stop? Yeah. So we did eight as aerobics last week, and it was just like being in flares. So I loved it. Really? Yeah. You seem to like back to your disco days. Yeah, that's it. Uh, are you happier? That's a good question, is it? Are you, are you happier? Do you feel? Do you? Because you see, I don't know whether it's because the tension has gone out and it's taken all the mystery out of it, so you don't, in a way, you kind of you know what to expect, you know what it's going to be like now, Tracy. But I mean, do you? Are you? Are you happier? Yeah, much happier. Yeah, much more relaxed. And I said, like Kelly said, doing the exercise as well, and actually being able to do it now, you know, it is an improvement from the sports day at school, like you say. But I don't really go on many of the machines. I only go on the treadmill. But again, going to the classes that we go to in the aerobics and the fact that you're joining in with other people, you're not doing it on your own and nobody's sort of, you know, 
sometimes at Jimmy can feel intimidated of people watching you, like Kelly said, you know. And uh, you're the one that's there, well, certainly in my case with the red face and more sweat coming off me than anybody else in the gym. Mm. Get me no, to Jimmy LGB, please, my advice. Well, well I just go swimming. Let's just go in and if it's dead ugly, I'll be all right, I'll stand a good chance in there, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, somebody said to me that thing that everybody else that's in there is thinking exactly the same as you're yeah. thinking, which is, yeah, okay, but you don't think like that. But I, I go swimming more than anything. I'm actually on holiday as well, so you dragged me out of bed this morning. You're on holiday as well? I am. I've got two weeks off, and yeah. I've just uh, walked all the way around Yorkshire. I feel like I have anyway. It's, does, it, does that change your regime, being away? Has it, has yeah. It, it... We'll see tomorrow when they go and get away. Oh, that'd be interesting. Oh, so tomorrow's <laughs> your next way? Mm. I forgot to ask you, uh, Kelly, how much have you... Uh, lost £7 so far. So you've the same, aren't you? You've yeah. been about the same. That's yeah. quite interesting as well. Yeah. yeah. Are, you, is, are you getting more and more competitive as the time goes on? <laughs> I'll, I'll call it's, you. it's text messages. I'll call you. I'll call you. How are you? Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And how's the weight? How's the weight? I don't want to get straight to you, but how's the weight? Second text in, yeah. I'll call you. I'm resting outside. I thought this is getting all too competitive. Well, listen, we wish you, wish you well. We're going we're to check back with you and see. Uh, what's the other one called? Claire. Forgive me, but she never comes in. Morning, Claire. I don't, Morning. Is, is Claire real? Yes. It's not just like an imaginary friend that you've got, is it? Or no, she is like actually it? going to be the trump card that we're going to pull at the end of this. Is it? Me. In what way? It's like she, she's going to be the one that's going to win. Yeah, yeah you see. Uh, well, we'll see, won't we? Uh, good luck to, to the three of you. Oh, I don't know, there is three, but I think there's only two. They're too embarrassed to say. That's all it is. Uh, ladies, keep up the good work. Keep off the cheese. And uh, keep up the exercise. Great, great to have you with us this morning. Well, thanks. Uh, good stuff. Thank you ever so much. That's no, brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, all boy. that's all the cheese now. I really fancy some well, yeah. fancy some cheese now. I don't, I don't think I can have any, but there you go. Uh, it's the breakfast show on BBC Radio Derby. Still to come on the programme this morning. Uh, we're going to find out why women are just leaving their bra. Uh, oh, well, he was fine. Nine. Yes. No crying, just a few fingers <laughs> today. <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> you see, it wasn't that bad, was it? Oh, no, whatever. <laughs> Oliver. Is mummy better today? Huh? <laughs> Did you like getting up early? Look at him in his little jammers as well. Oliver even got a mention today as well. Shall we go and have some breakfast? Let's go. <laughs>